to movie. And then you pick any one of these. And then you press create movie. This is how you add text to photos. This is how you add music to your iMovie. You go on to audio and you go to theme music and you can pick which one you want. Like this. And then when you find the one you like, how do you drop it down? You hit this little arrow right there like this, and it comes down right here. And then, and then you play your movie, and it makes the sound. This is how you get pictures on the internet. First, you go, you type in what you need. Then you go to images, so you can look at all the pictures. And then you click on the one you want, and you have to tap it, so it will go to the page, like the page, and then you hold down till it set. You see, save image, and it saves. Video to your iMovie. So, first you have to make your video, and then you can press your video. And before that, if you want to make it shorter or longer, you can just do that or that. I'm gonna make mine the same size that it is. And then you press the little arrow that should pop up, and it's pointing down. This is how you record on iMovie. You press the microphone down in the bottom right corner and then it gives you a choice to record um, and, or you can cancel it. So, March is the best time of the year and then you press stop. And then if you would want to keep it, you press accept. And if you want to review it, you press review. Or if you wanted to retake it, you press retake. And then, of course, you need to cancel. extra things to learn about. Wherever the white line is on your timeline, that's where whatever you insert from up here will drop down to. If you touch on one of the sound files, you can adjust the volume with the slider. If you got too much of a video on here, you touch on it and it turns yellow. And then Wherever that white line is, you can split it. And then you could delete part of that or put a text on just part of that. So I could just trash that part. And then that would be gone. You can move items around. If you don't want this item here, if you touch on it and lift it up, you can move it over there. 
Same with the audio. If you record your voice, you can do the same thing. And lastly, if you're on a slide and you click on title down here, you can choose to have different title options. So instead you could have it do any of these.